Welcome Virgos and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Tuesday the 8th of March through to Sunday the 13th of March 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question? Ah, thank you. Oh wow, so whoever you are connecting with i feel that there's a very very strong friendship but this card does represent that you may encounter um somebody uh like an old friend somebody that you like a real close like childhood friend um that is coming back okay they're coming back um for a purpose and i feel um it's like you're being guided to bring some merriment, to connect with your heart. And so you've got, it's like a somebody that you haven't seen for a very, very long time, a really, really close friend. Um, I feel that um, either you're going to get news that they're going to be in the same area or the same location, or they're going to be visiting just out of the blue. And the reason why that is, is that this person is um, on your path because with regards to um, a love connection you're kind of in an in-between state okay I feel whoever you are connecting with I feel that they are a, a good friend of yours I feel that you've built a really strong friendship with this person but I also pick up that you're not in union with this person so it's like um it's like divine spirit universe is um, bringing one of your earth angels basically to you um, or you're going to hear from somebody that you haven't heard of for, for, heard from from a long time and it's going to help you to unpack the situation that you are in with regards to a love connection. I feel that you're being guided um, to remember that the journey that you're on with whoever you are um, Whoever is the object of your affections, uh, it's a uh, it's it's a human experience, okay? And it almost feel, it feels as if you're being guided that don't forget that you are a spiritual being, Virgos, um, going through a human experience. It's it's all about the alchemist, okay? For you, um, the alchemist is all about internal balance. It's about growth. It's about evolution. But I feel that this is about your spiritual journey. And so whoever it is that is the object of your affection, it feels as if they're on your path for a reason. And this in-between stage that I'm picking up is like you're not fully out of the past. You're not fully in the future. You're in that in-between stage. You may be aspiring to be with this person, but it hasn't quite come into fruition. Uh, you may not understand why. This is why I feel Divine Spirit Universe is bringing one of your earth angels to you to help you unpack that. So somebody that's a real, um, a really good friend and I feel that they're going to empower you to stay strong on your belief um illuminating to you what like steps that you need to take okay um with the alchemist here it says methodical aligned ritualistic efficient insightful healthy dutiful discerning witchy subtle pure refined accurate solitary um curital critical, nervous, perfectionist. So I feel all of these elements um, are characteristics of your sign, Virgo, and you could be going through a lot of ebbs and flows of those uh, particular characteristics for you. And I feel it's because you're in this in-between stage. Many of you it's almost like um, you may not know how this person that you have feelings for, um, how they're feeling about you. Many of you could have walked away from this, regretted it. Um, and you're in that in-between stage of how do you move forward and build something with this person. Whatever it is you're going through with regards to a love connection, it's very, very spiritual. And I feel that's why your spirit team are bringing an actual earth angel to you. And they're coming in the form of an old friend, an old colleague, um, somebody that you haven't seen for ages. You could just randomly hear from them. And it's to bring back some of that joy, that merriment. Many of you could be really overthinking how you're going to balance out um, a love connection. Let's continue. Yeah, look, 
justice so it almost feels as now justice this card is really interesting because the description in this bot bot um in in the ugh, the description in the book for this card is that actually um this this is uh letting you know that actions that you take this week aren't going to go in your favor or something didn't go in your favor so i was right what i was channeling um whoever you're connecting with there was some sort of injustice and i feel that you're being guided that you have all the resources all the tools around you to balance this out but just be mindful that if you try and take action this week, it won't go in your favour. Wait, wait for signs, synchronicities, for your earth angel to appear, okay? And do you know something? Whoever this earth angel is, um, if you don't hear from somebody um, that's like an old-time friend or an old time family member that you've not seen for a while um that is going to bring some merriment it could even be a stranger it could be a stranger that you see at a bus stop at a train station in the supermarket and they could do something really really simple and smile at you and pay attention to that because i i feel like i'm being guided to ask you pay attention to your thoughts at the time of this person smiling at you because that will be your spirit team using that person to give you the thumbs up of whatever thoughts or feelings that you're having at that particular moment so whether or not it's um negative thinking okay um that that smile from a stranger is letting you know okay that is what you need to balance out before you approach whoever is the object of your affections if you're thinking positive thoughts okay towards the person of your um your your uh your love or, or who you're interested in when this stranger smiles at you uh that is um uh, letting you know it's giving you the thumbs up yeah um very unusual message but uh that's what was just just literally just given to me just now and so this is letting you know that there was a big injustice with regards to whoever you're connecting with, whoever is the object object of your love. OK, either you walked away and resisted, denied the connection or they did. It was a massive injustice. But the key thing here, Virgos, is that you have the power and resource and the knowledge and the wisdom to balance it out. This justice card also reminds me of Libra. So if you've got Libra in your chart or your person has Libra in your chart, this may be applicable. But what's also very interesting, I've just finished doing the Libra reading and this or this message does actually kind of resonate so if you do have libra in your chart or your person has libra in your chart it might be worth um checking out the libra message um because that really ends very very beautiful and just to let you know the um the 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 essence of the libra message that i've just uh, posted um is all about um the person in the reading the libra person having to close the door on a relationship because they had healing that they needed to do um and that was an injustice um and they have the power to balance it out okay um to reunite because they've done the healing and it almost feels as if Virgos, if you've got Libra in your chart, then honestly, truly watch the Libra reading because this feels like an extension. If you're dealing with a Libra, then you will have some insight as to what's going on spiritually with them. OK, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your crowning messages to the question? How does the soulmate of uh, Virgo, Sun, Moon, thank you. Yeah, look at that. Passion. There's something that is igniting in you this week, for sure. For sure. Whoever it is that is the object of your affection, I feel that many of you want to move forward with this person. Where an injustice um, 
was had and I feel that you there's a lot of passion that you have for this person but they've ignited something within you either pre, pre prior to this week you have been getting signs or synchronicities or you just know you just know within your heart space that this person is the one for you and if you did walk away or they walked away or there was some sort of separation I feel that many of you are waking up to the realization that it was an injustice yeah that you may have walked away or um they may have walked away from you and it was an opportunity that was missed and I feel that many of you are going to feel that fire in your belly to take steps forward look at that look at how the cards are coming out taking steps forward to balance out this injustice but I feel that you're being guided um to to almost wait for those signs and synchronicities from your spirit team and I feel that they're going to come in either through a stranger that you're just randomly going to meet okay or it's an old time friend colleague family member that you've not spoken for a while they're going to impart some important information for you so I feel that you really really need to pay attention to signs and synchronicities and read in between the lines yeah, because if I feel that if you approach this person too soon, the person that is the object of your affection, uh, I feel that it might not go in your favor, particularly uh, Virgos, if you walked away from the situation. All right. But there's definitely a lot of passion. There's something that's ignited within you. And I feel that many of you want to act on it. And I can't even make this up. Happy, happy. Yep. Your happiness is returning. Um, uh, I feel that whoever you're connecting with, that whoever walked away, it doesn't really matter at this time. We'll see in the main readings who walked away if it comes up. Um, but I feel that there was a massive injustice and you taking action, feeling very, very passionate. Something within you has been ignited um, um, to live your best life, to go for this, to reconcile, to balance out the scales um, is bringing in your happiness because many of you, this person is your happiness. And I feel that it has all the right ingredients in terms of the alchemist, all the right ingredients here to end really, really happily for you. Returning that happiness. Yeah. And I feel that you're being guided by your spirit teams, divine spirit universe in a very, very profound way. They're actually going to be using earth angels, uh, living people here on this earth um, to help you along this journey in the form of a stranger with a smile in a form of an old friend, colleague, family member that you've not met. Look at that. I can't even make this up. Can't even make this up. Didn't I just this minute say you're being guided to observe OK, many of you may have observed this connection from a higher perspective and are realizing that there's a major injustice. Many of you may have felt that you've lost this person. It was an opportunity lost. I feel that you're being guided. Look closely, look closely. Your spirit team, you're looking up above. You're, they're sending down earth angels to you, messages to you, downloads of information that you can balance out this connection and that's why many of you are going to feel this real passion to just move things forward and do something it's like your spirit is good, like I've got to do something and that's why I was picking up that you're in between you're not fully out of the past and you're not fully in the future and whoever you're connecting with uh yeah they're definitely fated I, it wouldn't surprise me if this person is a twin flame to be fair uh it came up quite heavily in um the Libra message that it was a twin flame. So again, if you are, um, if you have Libra in your chart or you're connecting with the Libra, uh, I would encourage you to uh, watch the Libra reading. Wow. Okay. All right. Um, Virgos, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Um, subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Libras. It also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's really, really appreciated. And I hope that you all get something really useful out of this week's reading. OK, let's get into your main love message. 
my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does the soulmates of virgo sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love week commencing tuesday the 8th of march through to sunday the 13th of march 2022 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards virgo that i'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all as above so below and all around me thank you i'm also picking up the energy um virgos that whoever is the object of your affection they do want a new beginning but i feel that they're picking up this passion uh they may either um uh when it's the right time receive that olive branch that you're going to um reach out i feel uh, at some point this week or they are going to reach out to you um i feel that this person might be waiting for the right opportunity and it's because i feel that they do see you as long-term commitment marriage they they also feel that this is a fated connection let's continue my angels and thank you wow five of cups yeah this person was majorly disappointed heartbroken but notice the two cups the two of you are twin flames i'm telling you i knew it the two cups standing is two cut to the two of cups i feel that this person was disappointed upset heartbroken over an injustice many of you you may have walked away from this person but I feel that they're waiting to build that bridge back with you. But those two cups standing is, is to me, to, look, I can't even make this up. OMG, and they're conflict. Do you know what? I'm not being funny. I am not being funny. And I have shuffled these cards, right? And um, those that know me know that I do my meditation and my channeling before every reading these two cards came out in libra and the wheel of fortune came out in the center of the libra reading as well whoever you're connecting with with the wheel of fortune this is a fated connection and i feel that this person is conflicted oh my gosh if Virgos, like, okay, uh, uh, all seriousness, right? This is not even about, uh, look, this is about s delivering a message in a very profound way. And for two readings to come out with two cards, um, literally in the, almost literally the same formation. I feel, I think the five of wands came out on the, uh, the, this person's side as well. In exactly the same position. Five and five is ten. Completion. The cycle is completed. Whatever injustice happened, it's complete because the two of you are fated to be together with the Wheel of Fortune. And so whatever happened, um, I feel as if it's going to turn in both of your favours. My gosh. You're being really strongly to observe this because this person I feel is your happiness. You are their happiness. And I feel both of you are, are waking up to the fact that both of you are fated to be together. But they were definitely disappointed, upset. They may have walked away from you or they felt that they had no choice to walk away because this person felt very conflicted to walk away if they walked away. Major injustice was ha happened here in this connection. Wow. Thank you. Look at that. Can't even make it up. The, the four of pentacles. You're thinking about this person constantly. And that is that fire in your belly that I feel that's being ignited. You want your happiness. You want your happiness. And for some of you, you just feel like I've got to do something about this. I've got to move forward. I've got to move forward and go after this person. The emperor. Yep, absolutely strong. I can't even make this up. The emperor. You feel very, very strongly about whoever you're connecting with it may have been a missed opportunity but you're observing very very strongly 
this passion that you feel for them, this ignite, this this light in your belly that you need to go after this person because a major injustice was ha happened. You could be dealing with an emperor. Um, uh, the emperor is an Aries. So you could be dealing with the Aries or you could have Aries in your chart. But you're thinking about this person like big time. There's something that <coughs> has hit your spirit, hit your soul that has been ignited. And I feel that you just want to go after this person and it's strong very strong you just you you're yeah many of you you're going to be very very in tune this week yeah let's um clarify my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you clarify how does these soulmates thank you so we've got the nine of wands in reverse. So the nine of wands face up is somebody that is um, surrendering to a connection, open to talk. OK, but somebody is they pick up that somebody is guarded. It feels as if this person um, surrendered to the connection. OK, but you may have uh, walked away, denied, resisted the connection. Hence why they're sad. It feels as if they didn't want to walk away. They were very conflicted to walk away, but they had no choice to walk away with the um, nine of wands. Sorry, I had to just double check uh, is the wounded warrior. Um, and so I feel um, if they wanted to talk, they felt they couldn't talk about um, whatever happened. Uh, I feel that this person feels as if um, the connection uh failed okay um i feel that they are very hesitant to come forward very conflicted um this is hesitation this is um uh frustration um this is um feeling as if they've missed a, a, a you know a, a a missed opportunity here Yeah, a missed opportunity, um, feeling very, very frustrated, um, feeling as though that they had failed. Yeah, failed the connection, fails themselves. This is this is failure, failure to have spoken what they wanted to speak because this person was very disappointed how things went down with the two of you. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify? Thank you. Oh, my God, I can't even make this up. I can't make this up. Justice. Justice. Didn't I say that this is Libra? This is the major arcana for Libra. I, if you're resonating with this message, um, I would encourage you to watch the re, uh, the Libra uh, message, the Libra reading. With the Justice card here, I feel that this person feels as if they have a soul contract with you. Yeah, they do want to reconcile, but I feel that they are waiting for the right opportunity. The two of you may have been married in past lives. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Justice card. That's why I was picking up that this person's waiting for the right time to either reach out to you or waiting for you to reach out to them because they see you as long-term commitment marriage. They see you. They, 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 this person feels that they have a soul contract with you. And I would, I would agree with the Fated card and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel that you are their happiness. Thank you. Look, I can't even make this up. Can't with the Queen of Pentacles, male or female. This person want, is ready for long term commitment. I can't even make it up. I'm speaking this reading, and the cards are just following what 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 I'm channeling right now. This person is solid, grounded, balanced. Somebody that you can depend upon, male or female. Okay, um, and I feel that they want to come towards you with a solid offer. Absolutely. This person wants to reconcile because they see you as marriage material. Somebody that they could. I feel that they you two were definitely married in past lives. Married in past lives, but they're very conflicted to come towards you. 
with the two of swords uh this person wants to talk i feel where they feel they failed expressing how disappointed um you rejecting denying resisting whatever somebody walked away and it felt that they had no choice but to walk away as well felt very conflicted wanted to talk about it but didn't and they feel as if they failed to express how they felt i feel that they want to balance this out they see you as a long-term commitment marriage material they feel that they have um a, a sole contract with you they want to come in with a solid offer um, and they are very, very focused on that at the moment. But with the two of one, um, two of swords here, um, this is about conversations. The crow here is letting me know they want to speak their truth, but they are at a crossroads as to how to initiate this conversation. With the star card here, this person um, definitely knows that you and them have lived many lives together. Not even being funny. The two of you were married in past lives. OK, you are their wish fulfillment, their happiness. You are their happiness. They know that this is a fated connection. Oh, look at that. And the seven of swords. So many of you, I feel that you're keeping secret. OK, that you have connected the dots back to this person as your twin flame. Many of you with those two swords on the wall there, you may also be at a crossroads as to what to speak, how to initiate the conversation. But you've got five swords here um, that you're holding. So I feel that many of you are very great when it comes to talking about emotions. It's a bit of a battle for you. And I feel that you want to put that behind you. You want to put that behind you um, and almost whatever this passion and, and, and strongly feeling that you want to move forward um, and, and, and speak your truth and, and have this discussion with this person. It's a battle for you. It's out of your comfort zone, out of your comfort zone. But I feel that you're going to be guided through an, a, an old friend, family member, a stranger that's going to impart some information um, to you to help you um, speak your truth. Like I said, I'm just really picking, I don't know why I'm picking this up, but you may encounter a stranger at a bus stop, in a train station, in a supermarket. And if they smile at you or they, they're just, you know, hi, hi, how are you? Just really random Pay attention, observe your thoughts and feelings at the time because that is either giving you a thumbs up or it's saying, okay, that is a thumbs down, whatever, if it's anything negative, they're saying that's what you need to heal. That's what you need to heal before you take steps towards this person and it will turn in your favour. But yeah, I feel many of you are keeping secret that you've connected the dots, that this is a fated connection. Keeping secret that you're thinking about them and keeping secret that you strongly want to take action towards this person. Thank you. And your next message is uh, this person's coming towards you with nothing but love with the Knight of Cups. OK, I feel that this person loves you. OK, um, and I feel that they do, like I say, they do want to travel towards you with uh, with with love. OK, almost that olive branch um, offering here, but they are conflicted. They are conflicted. Many of you, you may know that this person loves you. I'm not being funny. And that's why you feel that it's an injustice that's happened. Almost like, have you lost this person? I don't think you have. I don't think you have. This reading wouldn't be come, would, wouldn't be presenting itself if um, Divine Spirit Universe didn't want the two of you to be together, by the way. Um, and with that Wheel of Fortune in the middle of the reading, uh, well, yeah. Oh, by the way, we've got Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius coming up here. Aquarius here again and Libra out at the Aries. So any of those signs could be in your chart or their chart. Thank you. I feel, oh, look, I feel that many of you with the three of cups, you want to be around this person. You want to celebrate this connection. 
with the uh, four cups here, I feel that you're thinking, yeah, look, you're thinking about this person, wishing, dreaming, hoping, you know, that um, you can get to know this person, reconcile, uh, celebrate this connection. I feel that with the seven of cups, you strongly are listening to your heart. You're choosing to listen to your heart. And I feel that your heart is telling you that you need to go forward strongly because this is a fated connection. I also feel that um, you strongly want to clear up any misunderstanding, miscommunication over walking away from this person, shutting it down, resisting, denying, whatever it is. But you do feel very strongly and you're, you're operating from your heart space. And that is the best place to operate from, uh, Virgos. OMG, look at that, the King of Pentacles, male or female. You're ready for long-term commitment, marriage material. Um, you see this person, look, the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, divine counterpart. And look, you're both facing each other. You're both facing each other. And with the uh, Five of Wands, yeah, this is what I was picking up with here, um, the... Oh, no, the five of wands is com conflict up here. So you're feeling conflicted. You're feeling conflicted. But look at all these people that's around you. It's almost as if there's uh, either there was conflict. People around you didn't agree with this connection in some shape, form or another. And you may have listened to them. I feel that many of you may have regretted that. And now you want to clear up because you clear up any misunderstandings and miscommunication because many of you, you're, you, you, you are connecting with your heart and your heart is basically been ignited to reconcile, to um, sort this out because this person is your happiness and you are now connecting the dots that they are fated to be in your life. But you are conflicted to take action, but you strongly want to take action, clear up misunderstandings, celebrate this connection, be around this person. Can't stop thinking about them. Wow. Wow, that was a really straightforward reading. I mean, I can't even... That is just, this reading is so clear. I feel that many of you are being guided to, if you are resonating with this message to watch the uh, Libra uh, reading. All right, let's have a look and see what your advice is. So it says here, the first card, it says, make calm, make clear, calm thinking your goal. Absolutely. So again, remember what I was saying. If you have to take action towards this person, right here, right now, it's not going to go in your favour. It's not going to go in your favour. Wait for a sign. Wait for a sign from Divine Spirit Universe. They're going to bring in an old friend, an old colleague, an old family member that you've not spoken for a while, and they're going to help you unpack this. They're going to impart some important information. For some of you, it's going to be a complete stranger that you're going to see on your travels, on your day-to-day -day travels, and they're going to smile at you, okay? Pay attention to what you're thinking about at the time because it says here, make clear, calm thinking your goal. It's almost as if divine spirit universe, your spirit team are bringing some earth angels to you in, in, in your reality, in our reality to help you to think clearly because you're feeling very, very strong to take, um, uh, to take action towards this person. Because you just feel that passion um, within your soul that uh, it shouldn't have gone down like this. Whether you walked away, they walked away, it was an injustice. It, it, it's two souls that I feel that are meant to be together. And then it says, look at that, can't even make it up. Practice speaking positively about the other person and events and especially the future. Do you remember what I was saying? That you're in between stages at the moment. You're not quite out of the past and you're not quite in the future. Speak what you want. And again, I feel whatever this sign, whatever divine spirit universe is putting in your path this uh, week through um, other human beings that are being used as your... Um, 
uh, as as voices basically um, for your spirit team they're coming in as earth angels it's for you to uh, pay attention to what you're thinking and feeling and again whether or not it is low vibrational or it's really positive you will get the sign if it's negative that you know that's what you need to heal if it's positive that's when you need to then take action towards this person oh look at that it says know that truth is a living force whether you believe it or not i think many of you are now believing it because um, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor and i feel that the truth of the matter is this person does make you happy Virgos okay um this is a fated connection and the truth of the matter is is that that is living and breathing and it's around you it's around you it's hitting your heart space it's hitting your soul you're being guided to really observe this this is part of your evolution remember you are a spiritual being having a human experience and I feel that alchemist in you wants to balance this out they certainly do okay i'm gonna leave that there for you um please check out your moon rising venus signs and of course if it resonates please check out the libra uh video um it will give you definitely more information um to accompany this message um if this message resonated please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already until next time i'm sending you loads and loads of love peace and light you take care Bye bye